All right, man, let's talk about Minnesota Timberwolves rumored to be shopping Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell this summer. And let's just talk about should the Pigeons be, inter be interested. They're going to have capital. You know, they're going to have capital. And for the most part, Minnesota is, for the most part, starting over. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out the Detroit Piston Talk playlist. And, you know, lately we ain't really been leading with no Piston Talk. But let's look at the D'Angelo Russell contract first. You know, let's get to it. He making a lot of money. It just seems like somebody that hasn't matured. That's the biggest thing about him. Do you want to put him in a situation where, you know, you look at the roster, who who the real veterans on this team? You got rid of Drummond, you got rid of Blake. Josh Jackson, who's trying to rehabilitate himself, he may or may not be here. This kid, 25 years old, just turned 25. So, um, you know, I think it's best for him to go to a situation where they got veterans. Not like uh, Jamal Murray, Jokic, something like that. I'm a, not like something like that, you or a veteran coach. But, you know, you look at him, somebody with 25, mean, 25, 25 years old, right, making twenty-eight million, over $28 million this year, over $30 million, slightly over $30 million next year, over thirty thirty one million dollars this last year. So, if Detroit was interested in getting with him, it's a two year rental, right? And I really think out of those two years, you're gonna get the best out of DeAndre Russell. But DeAndre Russell has been plagued by injuries. Say right here, Russell is out due to a surgery to remove loose bodies, and so he, he, for one, maturity of of being a man, he hasn't fully matured mentally. But then again, you give, you know, you give a lot of people out here 25 million. Oh, hold on. You give a lot of people at, uh, give me a minute. He was the number two pick overall. I forget who was number one in year. But you give a $23 million, a lot of $23 million kids, a four-year, hundred, almost $120 million contract. You know, who ain't going to be tripping? Who ain't, who ain't going to be maturing? So, I think... He would have benefited from staying in college for a couple more years. He would have benefited from a strong coach, which a strong black coach, which I'm gonna get there. But talking about DeAndre Russell, I just don't, I don't see us having it. We already too young. I think for DeAndre Russell, the right move for him would be Philadelphia. The Philadelphia 76ers have a strong black head coach who Doc Rivers who played in the league. That's the best fit for him. To play next to Ben Simmons. And the thing about it that may not work for him, that may not work, man, is simply, you know, injuries. He injury prone. Blake, but I mean Ben Simmons, I won't call him injury prone, but he get injured from time to time. And Joel Lumbeep injury prone. You know? So we at the point where do we really want to take the risk? With that many injury prone people, that's the only risk. But then you start thinking about other teams that that can utilize him. I mean, it's slim pickings as far as the teams that got everything you need. You know, with the Trailblazers, you know, with the Trailblazers consider, you know, consider them. You know, but uh, it had to be McCullum. But then again, he don't bring enough. He bring more size, but he don't bring enough defense yet. But you you look, only person that went ahead of him was Carl Anthony Towns. So. Minnesota got the number one, number two pick in 2015. All right. They got the number one pick this, you know, in uh 2020. It's just to the point where, you know, Minnesota might need to, you know, just pick up and leave and sell the team. And, you know, that's at the point they at. That's the point they at. It's just to the point where ain't nothing working. They being terrible. They got two number one picks. I think that's at the that's at the point, that's the point they at. They've been bad. They got good talent, Malik. But it just you know, even when they had Kevin Garnett, they just ain't been committed. And it's a lot of, and they got Ricky Rubio. They drafted Jerry Cullen. It's just not working. Not working, man. But let's talk about Carl Anthony Towns, man. Carl Anthony Towns. You know, he kind of soft. That's that's kind of the knock on him. Um, from Jersey, he's 25 years old, be 26 this year. Um, 
But look at this contract first. All right. And this is the guy that I'm interested in. Got a lot of money. Just in a bad situation. Now, has he had the impact that Kevin Garnett has had there? No. You know, he had a talent that Kevin Garnett? Absolutely. You know? But a dude that, that's been through a lot of stuff, persevered, do a lot of stuff over his, throughout his life. Right? You look at him. Five years, $160 million. He got one, two, three more years left. My thing is, why not? Why not take some of that killing? If you're gonna if you're gonna be in a position to take Kate Cunningham, even though they won other night, but it's a lottery. If you're gonna be in a position to take Kate Cunningham, why not package uh package Killian Hayes and um Isaiah Stewart? No matter how much you like them, it's a business. And and maybe I don't know who else they got on the team that they would want. But they have to get future comp compensation up too. They might have to get a pickup this year, but I'm not willing to get a pickup this year. You know, I'm not willing to get multiple picks up, but I'm willing to take whatever talent we got, you know, to send it over there for him. But I think, uh, really, I think really who's going to be a team, not too many teams got capital, but I mean, Wilkie might be a team that might be interested in them. But I think it would be nice for uh, Carthy Towns. You put him there, if you can find, find a way, you put him with Kay Cunningham, you put him with CD. Oh, you got Jeremy Grant, you can flip over there too, you know. Take Jeremy Grant. Take Jeremy Grant. If I wouldn't want to trade him, but take Grant. Take Stewart. Take Killian. Maybe some far, far future pick, and send him over there. Get Carnthy Towns because you got a log jam. Or maybe you can put Diombo over there too. You got a long jam at the wing anyway. You know people writing Diombo off, but he ain't playing. He ain't playing consistent minutes. He ain't playing consistent minutes. You 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 move Jeremy Grant out the way. You put Diambo, you know, in, in, in right there in the rotation with Sadiq Bay, then you 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 assess what you got. And I think Diambo gonna play well. What if you get Jalen Subs? It'll work too. They're at the point where they can do whatever they want to do. But Carthy Thompson would be a good fit if you can get a Cunningham or a Suggs or something like that. Put Cat in the middle, put Bay next to him, you know, <laughs> be a good fit. If the uh, Dubonier can come along, he can he can defend a lot better. It's, it's gonna be a good fit, man. But then you can start playing. You, then you got a, a bona fide star in Carlton Town. He can't make the All Star team in the East, you know, if you put the right people behind him. But if you can give Dubonier up instead of Jeremy Grant, that may work too. You put Grant, you put Bay on the wings. They both can defend. You able to get a Suggs or Cunningham? It's gonna be nice. Cause one thing Carlton Towns ain't really had beyond Ricky Rubio, and he ain't really lived up to hype. Is a, is a point guard that's going to facilitate, you know, that's going to find him, you know. And then also, he ain't really had those defenders around him. You put Bay, Grant, or if it's Dubonier, you know, on the wing, that's def defense. You know, if you find the two that can get out there and defend too, it's going to be a good team. It's just going to be, you know, finding the right combination to fit. You know, that's all it's going to be. But I think they'd be a good team. I like getting. The, I like the prospects of getting Crosby Towns. Why not? And I like it, man. I think Crafty Towns could be good here. You know, and I think they got pieces right away that they're they, they gonna be they're gonna start extending next year. You keep Grant, you keep Bay. If you're able to get Cunningham, it's, it's you're gonna extend. They're gonna be a team that's gonna be looking that's gonna look attractive. You know, let's look at the NBA free agents real quick. Cause they got some money to spend, and play with too. Kawhi ain't come here. Don't want Drew Holiday. John Collins don't need him. Mike Conley don't need him. All the people don't need him. I mean, if you ain't, if you're trying to rush to put something together, I mean, really, they could wait for Lonzo next year. You know, if they wanted to, but you still could take Cunningham and trade Killian. That that may work. Um, there's really not. I mean, Spencer did what he injured. But I do think they're going in the right direction, you know, with the young guys. If you add Carthy Towns, Dubon you put Grant there or Dubonye and Sadiq Bay. If you're able to get Suggs to Cunningham, y'all going we going in the right direction just about developing young talent and building um depth. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Don't forget to be on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, car response, your video requests, all our social media links in the description. Want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best with the donate. Share, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what's in the comment section. One time for the one time.